by fans of high-quality entertainment, I am about to listen to the Rolling Stones' new album, Hackney Diamonds, for the very first time. I have heard the opening track, Angry, and I did a reaction to it. I didn't care for it on the first listen. And I also did a reaction to Sweet Sounds of Heaven, which I really did like a lot, surprisingly. <laughs> uh, I am a Rolling Stones fan. Uh, some of the albums I have of theirs. And of course, you won't be able to hear the music, at least on YouTube. I'll, uh, if you join my Patreon for free for one week, and you can also request a song, you can listen to it on there. I'll provide a, a link. Yeah, well, uh, Sticky Fingers is my favorite Rolling Stones album. And, uh, Some Girls is awesome. Let it bleed. Yep, love the Rolling Stones overall. I kind of, after, uh, I guess Emotional Rescue, around that time, I st stopped buying their albums. Uh, just kind of lost interest in them. But like I said, they are truly one of the greats overall. Here we go. I'll do a little mini review after each song. And uh, so on YouTube, I'll just speed up the, each of the tracks really fast. Here we go. Well, <clears throat> you know, on first listens, like I said, I, I didn't really give it a very good review, you know, watching the music video too. And I think I like I liked it a lot more on the second listen. And I think it helped that, you know, they weren't trying to sell me the song with the, the music video. Uh, yeah, I love the uh, kind of simple guitar riff very catchy yeah and it's a catchy song so i enjoyed it a lot more the second time i'll rate rate each of these songs i'm gonna give that for the second lesson an a minus it was pretty dang good sounded like the rolling stones all right next up is get close <laughs> Yeah, another really good song. I give that one an A- minus for a first listen, too. Very, you know, just very catchy song so far. And, and I love the fact they don't just fade out the song. Uh, I like it, you know, they end it ab abruptly. That's a hard word for me to say. So, so far, so good. And, uh, you know, I've seen some very good reviews. Not, not all positive but some very good reviews like with uh, me mr mayo and uh, a couple of others and i was thinking of buying the album at first it was like no not gonna bother but it's sounding good so far so we'll see next up is and also if i was going to buy the album i would kind of wait before listening to it but uh i wanted to do this reaction. Next up is Depending on You. I believe this is the country song. I know there's one country song. Well, it's No Far Away Eyes, my favorite country uh, Rolling Stones song, or Dead Flowers. But it was still a very good song. Um, for a first listen, I'd, I'd give that a B+. It's very good. Yeah, 
and kind of sounds live. Uh, so maybe we'll see. I don't know. I haven't really read a lot about the album overall, but I'm excited about the next song because I don't know if you know or not, but I'm a big Beatles fan. And Paul McCartney plays bass on Bite My Head Off, featuring Paul McCartney. All right. Yeah, it sounds pretty live. I, you know, I'm sure there's lots of overdubs and whatever. Maybe some tinkering with Mick Jagger's vocals with the auto-tune, but I don't really notice it. it sounds like Mick Jagger to me. Loved the bass, <laughs> of course. The, the fuzz bass by Paul McCartney and that little solo. Uh, not the greatest lyrics, but it was just a fun tune with a bit of swearing in it. Uh, I'm going to give that one. It was around a, a B, but by the end, it's like an A minus. Yeah. Next is Whole Wide World. Now, on my Patreon, if somebody gives me a song request and I clap at the end, that means it's an A+. That's my favorite song so far. I love the guitar riff. Everything about it, just excellent. And for a first listen. And you know, the other songs, you know, even the one that I gave a B plus to, dep depending on you, it might, you know, get a better rating on further listens. So far, I am enjoying this much more than Roger Waters' The Dark Side of the Moon Redux, which I also uh, did a reaction to. You should check that out. Here we go. Dreamy Skies. <laughs> You know, I guess that was the country song. I don't know my country like I thought I did. Uh, and I really like that. I would give that a solid A for the first listen. Country blues kind of song. And love the slide guitar work, probably by uh, Ron Wood. Yeah. And so far, I love the way... Uh, the album's going with, you know, the up te tempo and the slower songs. Really good. So, this song features the great Charlie Watts on, gu on, on, on guitar, on drums. Uh, he plays on two songs. He also plays on... So, the, okay, the next two songs, Mess It Up and Live by the Sword. Let's go, Charlie. Yeah, really good song. Uh, you can really tell the, the difference. In, not that the drumming is... The drumming is excellent on all the songs, but... You could right away you could tell <laughs> the difference in the in the drumming. Uh, I will give that. I love the uh, mix falsetto there, too. Almost like a disco-y kind of a vibe to it. I will give that an A minus. It was really good. So this next one, "Live by the Sword," features besides uh, Charlie Watts, it features Bill Wyman the original bassist for the Rolling Stones and <clears throat> Elton John. I know Elton John plays him more than this one song, but he's on this song too. 
Here we go. Yeah, A plus. And, you know, that's, you know, that kind of song can be faded out. That's, there are times, you know, there are certain songs that's like, oh, why, why did it fade out? It's so, you know, like, or end it, you know, without fading it. But, you know, there's some songs that fade out nicely, and that's one of them. Yeah, loved everything about it. Yeah. Driving me too hard. A plus. Three to go. Tell Me Straight is sung by Keith Richards. I love Keith Richards' vocals. Uh, yeah, one of my all-time favorite songs is All About You that uh, he does the lead vocals on. It's on Emotional Rescue, I believe. So here we go. Tell me straight. Way to go, Keith. Yeah, I always love his vocals. I mean, he's not a great singer, but you know, when he's singing, it's like you you know he what whatever he's singing he believes in the, the words that he's getting out uh i will give that an a minus it was excellent loved it two songs to go next up is sweet sounds of heaven of course featuring lady gaga and stevie wonder and i've heard this before so this is my second time listening to it That that is that that's one of the Rolling Stones great songs. It's right up there. Uh second listen, I loved it even more than the first. And that ending, you know, it could have been pre planned, but I really don't think it was. I think it was just naturally they added that bit at the end. And I know when I did my first reaction to the song I, and you know, I was saying what I was saying is you the rolling stones don't need these other superstars you know featuring whoever but i was not disrespecting lady gaga i don't really know her, her music that well but obviously she's very talented but it wasn't you know it wasn't about her but definitely she brought it you know uh it's uh, an A-plus song. Just incredible. So the last song is, and, you know, people. some people say it was. it's too long. You know, they could have trimmed it. I'd, it's kind of like the Hey Jude argument. It is what it is. It's a classic song. Uh, so this ends with Rolling Stone Blues, which, of course, is a Muddy Waters song in which the Rolling Stones got their name from. And so some people are thinking, you know, ending the the album this way is, is this the final Rolling Stones song? But supposedly there's more, more recordings they, that they have. So I doubt it's the last Rolling Stones album. Hopefully not. So here we go with Rolling Stone Blues. <laughs> I loved it. I love, uh, you know, I love Led Zeppelin's 
you know, songs like Hats Off to Roy Harper, which even some real Led Zeppelin fans don't care for. But I love that bluesy sound. And I think it was a perfect way to end a excellent album. I am really impressed with this. Even more than I, you know, I, I figured I would really like it from, you know, reading and watching uh, reviews on the album. And, you know, I, I have changed my mind about buying it. I definitely will buy it at some point. And even though, you know, I gave some songs like an A- minus, or I even gave one a B+, plus, overall, I'm going to give this album an A+. Plus. I think, you know, for a first listen, and it's definitely not going to, you know, some of the songs I'm going to enjoy more. Uh, just like I, I loved uh, Sweet Sounds of Heaven more on the first listen. So I'm going to give this an A plus for effort and everything. And uh, just good for the Rolling Stones. I mean, as much as I love the Beatles, the Beatles will always be number one. And, but the Rolling Stones, you know, through the years, they've, they've done so many great, great, great songs and albums, of course. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. I'd love your thoughts on the Rolling Stones' Hackneyed Diamonds in the comment section below. And please remember to like the video. And, uh, yeah, comparing this to Roger Waters, <laughs> uh, there's no comparison. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.